Welcome to Hacking with Python 10, LinkedIn Viewbot. In this video, we'll be looking at automating web interaction with Selenium and Beautiful Soup. Every video will have all slideshows and code available in the description. I'll be assuming you already have an understanding of HTML and have a fair idea of how JavaScript works. Also, I assume you have a decent understanding of Python. So what is li this LinkedIn bot going to do? Well, we're going to take advantage of LinkedIn's system of telling people that their profile was visited. So our goal is to visit as many people as we can that is connected to the people we know and then visit people from the jobs area of LinkedIn. Maybe our future employer will be someone we visit. After running the bot for about an hour and a half, I came back to about 23 visits a couple of days later on an obvious fake profile that could definitely be set up better. Okay, so how will it work? The first thing we're going to do is some research on the LinkedIn site. We need to find the login field names find a, a pattern in identifying what is a profile and how to find new profiles. So knowing from previous experience, the LinkedIn site uses JavaScript on profiles. So we're gonna to need to use something that supports JavaScript. Because of this, we're going to use Selenium. With Selenium, we'll create a Firefox web driver. We will then use a library called Beautiful Soup, which you may or may not have heard of, which we'll use to find the links and other information. Okay, so what is Selenium? Selenium is a library that interfaces and controls a web driver for browsers like Firefox and Chrome. Selenium runs on a high level browser so it can handle processing JavaScript, which makes our job a little slower over a pure HTML site. Its primary use is web automation. Next, quickly, what is Beautiful Soup? Beautiful, Beautiful Soup is your go-to library for handling HTML. It supports all sorts of features for finding, selecting, interacting with HTML tags and information. So let's jump into making it. We need to make sure we have Selenium and Beautiful Soup installed. To make sure these two libraries are installed, we can use our easy underscore install command from the Python setup tools and easy install Selenium and Beautiful Soup. Okay, so let's jump across to Ubuntu. And we need to make sure we have our Selenium installed. So sudo easy underscore install and we want selenium and this will go off and grab selenium for us which i've already got installed and just in case selenium doesn't automatically install beautiful soup for you you can use the same command and type beautiful oops, beautiful soup and that will go off and get whoops screwed that up can't spell beautiful beautiful soup and that will go off and get beautiful soup for us, which I've already got installed. Okay. So now we need to do some research. So let's go to the LinkedIn site. So come over to our web browser, go to linkedin.com. Now come to the LinkedIn uh, homepage and we see it has our email address and password fields. So we could use this. But there's a lot of other clutter on site on this page that we could get messed messed yeah, messed up with. So let's just see if they have a backup uh, login page, which is usually you'll get to if you import the um, you put the wrong details. And yep, we get a alternative login. So this is the LinkedIn.com slash UAS slash login dash submit. So I'm wondering if, if this last bit's uh, no, it's not optional. What about if I just type it in UAS slash login? Um, and yes, we get this. So that dash submit on the end was optional. Okay. So now we need to find out what these two fields um, are so we can access them. So let's inspect the element. So you right click on the area you want to inspect and uh, right click inspect. And we can see here the input for this uh, email address is session underscore key dash login. And you can also see down here in our console, we've got the session underscore key dash login as the ID. So let's also find out what, let's write this down. So I'll write down that it's the session underscore key dash login. And let's inspect the password field as well. So this is the session underscore password dash login. So as we can also see down here, the ID is session underscore password dash login. And we don't have to worry about this sign in button because uh, our web driver already knows how to submit um forms okay so let's close this off and let's try logging in so 
I got a fake account, which is the web uh, webmu11, and I'll just type in the password and log in. Oh. Typed it in wrong, and there we go. It logs us in. Now, as you can see, it takes us to like our home profile here. So it has like a few few things on here, but there's not much on here. So the first thing we need to do is go to a profile, like if we can find any profiles on here. So we've got our profile, so profile here. And we go to our profile, we need to find out what what identifies people's users on this on this website. So let's see what these links of people that have viewed my profile have in common. So if we inspect the element of this link, we can see the href has LinkedIn profile slash view um, ID. So it has the IDs inside this, uh, this um, link here. So let's check another one to see if the IDs are consistent. Yep, it says profile slash view and then the ID of the profile. So let's check some other links on the page. So just make sure that they don't have the ID field as well. Um, nope, this one, this one doesn't. This has slash profile and stuff on it. Uh, let's check this link. So um, profile doesn't have ID or anything like that. So we can identify people's profiles by having the forward slash profile uh, ID equals and then their profile ID. So, okay, so we know how to find profile links now. So what if we run out of profiles to find? So we need more profiles. So we can, from previous experience, I know that this jobs page has jobs on it, which... I think we can identify these jobs by slash jobs or something. Yep, we've got slash jobs here, which is a few jobs. Check a few links on this page to see they don't all have slash jobs. This has slash job, but it doesn't have slash jobs. Now, if we go to one of these job pages, we can see usually that, yep, they have a contact the job poster, which if we check this link, it should be a profile link. So. LinkedIn slash profile slash view ID. Yep. So this is another profile link. So if we were to follow this link, it would take us to another profile and we can also get more people's profiles by this one. So we've got three people up here that all have links, I would assume. So they all, these guys don't have a link, it's an image, but we've got all people also viewed. So it's like seven different people here. So if we inspect these, it should have a yep, profile slash view ID. So we know that if we run out of people to view, we can go to the job section and we can find people via the job section. Okay, so we've got a brief idea of how, how things work on the site. So let's let's jump into site coding. So come back over to terminal here. I'll just close down this web browser. Okay, so we'll come across to this terminal over here and let's start writing some code. So We'll vim and we'll call it uh, linked in bot dot pi. Okay, so inside here, we're going to need to import some stuff first. So we need to Im import. Uh, we're going to use argpass, so we can take in the uh, use the email and the password, and we'll use os for clearing the screen, and we'll use time to add some random timing and. Uh, making sure that all the JavaScript is loaded. So import, we're going to also import the URL pass module, which will allow us to grab the IDs out of a URL. And we're also going to import random. Okay, so now we need to grab our, import our Selenium. So from Selenium, whoops, Selenium, we're going to import uh, the web driver. Okay, so also from Selenium, so from Selenium, but it's selenium.webdriver.common.keys, we're going to import the keys module. So this will allow us to enter data onto the screen. Okay, now one last thing we need to import is the beautiful soup module. So from BS4, so beautiful soup 4. We're going to import beautiful soup. 
Okay. Okay, so now that we've uh, got all of our imports done, let's start writing a few utility functions. So we're going to define our get people links function. So our get people links function is going to take a beautiful soup page source. So page, which we'll pass in later. And what we're going to do is we're going to get a list called links. So that's going to be an empty list. And we're going to fill that list of links with all of the profile links on a certain page. So for link in page dot find underscore all. So we're going to find all and the a tag. So the link tag. So for all links on the page, we're going to make a variable called URL, make it equal to the link dot get and we're going to get the href part of the a tag which is the actual link address so if we do actually get a url out of this um, get so if we do get a url we're going to if and then the string profile because remember they all had in common profile slash view question mark ID equals and then we'll close off our quotes in the URL so if this is inside the URL then we know it's a profile so we're going to add it to our links list so links dot append and the URL we're going to append in there now outside of our four we're going to return back our list of links okay so this is our get people links page um, function done so let's let's do a similar thing but this time for the jobs so get uh, job links so our job links is going to take the the uh, beautiful soup page again and it's going to be very similar with our links equals an empty list and then for the link in page dot find underscore all we're going to grab the a tags again. We're going to create our URL equals the link dot get the href part of the link. And if URL, so if we did manage to get a URL out of that, we're going to check if there is a forward slash jobs, close quote, in the URL. So this, all of our job links had the forward slash jobs. Okay. So if we do find a jobs link, we're going to append it into our links list. So links dot append, and it's going to take the URL. Okay. So now that we've got our links, we're going to return it. So outside of our four, return, return links. And this is our get job links, uh, function written. So now because we got our um, people links, but we grabbed the whole link, we need to be able to grab the ID so that we can check it against other, other IDs to make sure we we haven't already been there before. So let's create a def get ID function. And this will take a URL. So our get ID function is going to use the p uh, the URL pass module. So we're going to create a variable called p URL. So this is going to be our past URL equals URL pass dot URL pass object. And we're going to give it the URL that we pass into the function. Now with our past URL, we're going to return, return, we're going to return the URL pass dot pass underscore QS. And we're going to pass in our PURL dot query. So this is our query of the URL that we object that we created. And we're going to grab the ID portion of the URL. And we want the uh, first first ID that it finds in the URL. Okay. So that's going to return back the actual URL, uh, the actual ID from the URL. So that 
random number of, you know, eight digits. Okay, now let's create our main function first before we create our viewbot um, logic. So once we create our main, it'll give us a better idea of what's going on. So let's def main and our main is going to so our main is going to have our parser so our parser equals argparse dot argument parser now we're going to add our arguments for an email and a password so parser dot add underscore argument and this will take our email and then uh, we'll give it a help of your linked in email. Okay. And we need to add our password field. So parser.add underscore argument. And this will take the password and help equal linked in password. Okay, so now we're going to grab our args. So args equals parser dot pass underscore args. And now we're going to create our browser. So let's create our browser object. So browser equals the web driver. So web driver dot Firefox. So we're going to create a Firefox web driver. Okay, so now that we've created our browser, we can get a web page. So let's get the uh, LinkedIn login page. So browser dot get, and we're going to get HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash LinkedIn dot com forward slash, and it was the UAS forward slash login page. Okay. So now that we've got the page, it'll load and then it will continue executing our code. So we want to be able to grab the email field so we can put our, our email in and we need to grab the password field so we can put our password in and then we need to submit the form. So let's create an email element. So email element equals the browser dot find underscore element underscore by underscore ID. So we're going to find uh, an element on, on the web page by its ID. And if you remember that we wrote down the login field ID, which was session underscore key dash login. And we can close that off and that'll get the email element. So now that we've got the email element, we're going to put our email into it. So email element dot send underscore keys. So this is going to type into that field the string that we give it. So we're going to give it the args dot email. Okay, so that's going to type our email that we give to the program into the email field. Now we need to grab our pass element, so our password element. So pass element. Oops, yep, got that right. Element equals browser dot find underscore element underscore by underscore id and we're going to grab the session underscore password dash login okay so now we have the password element we're going to send keys again with our password so pass element dot send underscore keys and we're going to give it the args dot password. Okay, now we need to submit the form. So we can either use email element or pass element. They both belong to the same form. So let's just use pass element dot submit. So that will hit the uh, login button. Okay, so now that that's all done, what we're going to do is we're going to os dot system uh, and we're going to clear. If you're running this on Windows, which uh, you probably won't be, 
um, just type CLS rather than clear. Okay, and now we're going to print out um, open square brackets for some positive information. And we're going to success logged in bot starting. Okay, so this will let us know that we've successfully successfully logged in and that the bot is starting. Okay, so now we're going to run our view bot function. So view bot, and this will take our browser that we created. Now we'll write our view bot uh, function in just a second. So once our view bot's done, we're going to browser dot close. Okay, and we'll write out if main so we don't forget about it later. So if underscore underscore name underscore underscore is equal to open quotes underscore underscore main underscore underscore close quotes. We're going to run main. Okay, so that's our main written. So that's going to log us into LinkedIn and uh, start uh, getting us ready to run our bot. So once we're logged into LinkedIn, we're going to run our bot logic. So def view bot and this will take the browser as we passed in okay so inside our inside of our view bot uh, we're going to need a few a few variables to work with so we're going to have a visited dictionary so visited is going to equal an empty dictionary now we're going to use visited to store the IDs of the people that we've already visited or that we already plan to visit that way whenever we find a new person we check if they've already been planned to be visited, so that way we don't visit the same person over again. And the reason we're using a dictionary is because the dictionary hashes uh, the um, identifier, so it's a lot quicker to find if something's already in there um, than it is to look through a whole list to see if it already exists in a list. Okay, so let's uh, create another list, but this this time it isn't is actually a list, and it will be an empty list called plist. And this will store all of the people that we plan to vi visit. And we'll create a count variable to know how many people we've already visited. Okay, so uh, we're going to do while true. So we're going to repeat forever. We'll just put in a quick comment here. So we're going to sleep to make sure everything loads. And we're also going to uh, add random to make us look human. So we don't want to be uh, caught being too suspicious. So if we're constantly changing page every three seconds, then somebody might get a bit uh, skeptical of us that we're too on time. It only takes us three seconds to look at a page. But if we add a bit of a random to it, it may look that it look like we're just browsing really fast. So time dot sleep, and we're going to sleep a random dot uniform, and it's going to be a uniform, and we'll do three point five seconds to six point nine. Okay. So you can make this shorter if you like, but I just want to make sure that everything loads. This is running on a VM. Okay. So now we want to grab the uh, a beautiful soup of the page source. So we're going to create a variable called page. And that's going to equal B E A U T F U L soup, and it's going to be a beautiful soup of the browser dot page underscore source, and this will grab the source of the current web page that we're viewing. Uh, so hopefully by the time that we grab the page source, all of the JavaScript is finished running, and we have up to date source. Okay, now we want to grab the people links that we find on the page. So let's create a variable called people. This is going to be a list, and that's going to equal the get people links that we created earlier, and we're going to pass it the page. So this will run our get people links uh, function, and it will turn all of the people links that it found on the page. So if people, so if it did find people, then we're going to start visiting them. So for person, for person in people, 
their ID. So their ID is going to equal get ID of the person. So we're going to get the ID of that person. So if ID not in visited, so if it's not inside of our dictionary, then we're going to add it to our list of people to visit and make sure that it's added to our visited dictionary. So P list, so people to visit, append person. And we're going to set visited, open square brackets, the ID of the person equals one. Okay, so outside of our um, people if, so if, if, P list. So if there's people to visit, so add a little comment here. If there is people to look at, then look at them. Okay, so if there's people to look at, we're going to get person equals P list. So our list of people to visit dot pop. And we're going to pop off the top. Um, the top uh, person on our P list and put it into our person. So that way we're, we're slowly taking the people off the list. So the browser dot get and we're going to get the person. So we're going to go to their their their, uh, their profile page. And then we're going to increment our count. So count plus equals one. Okay, so else. So if there isn't any people to visit, so otherwise find people via the job the job pages okay so if if there isn't any people to visit we're going to find some people so jobs equals get job links and this we're going to get that from our current page so we're going to find job links if we do get some jobs back which we should, because there should always be that little job button on our profile, uh, on that top bar. Then we're going to get a job equals random dot choice, Oop. random dot choice out of the jobs list. So we're going to get a random job uh, if there's more than one, and we're going to create a few utility variables here. So root equals and we're going to just do the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www dot linkedin dot com. And we need a root s as well. So root s equals uh, HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www dot linkedin dot com. And these are going to be used to make sure that our job links um, carry the LinkedIn uh, address properly because sometimes they can just be routes uh, just slash routes so we're going to make sure that they're inside of our URL so if root not in job or roots not in job we're going to add it in so job equals https colon forward slash forward slash www dot linkedin dot com close quotes plus job okay and now after we've gotten our job link to go to we're going to browser dot get open bracket job so we're going to get the job uh, web page and then we're going to do else so if if we don't get any job links on the page, which shouldn't happen, we're going to print open quotes, I'm lost, exiting, and then we're going to break. Okay, so now back on our, our if lines, we're just going to do a simple output. So hash out, output, make an option for this. We're going to print 
open quotes, square plus, some good information, close quotes, plus the browser dot title. So the browser title is the little um, title that appears on the top bar of your browser. So this will let us know the kind of pages that we're visiting. So the browser title, open quotes, visited. So we visited this page. And then we'll do a little backslash n and open up some circle brackets, close quotes, backslash, go down to the next line so we've got some plenty of room, plus the string of count, so the amount of people that we visited, plus open quotes, we'll do a slash, close quotes, plus the string of length of p list so the amount of people we still have to go that are in queue plus open quotes close circle brackets visited visited slash q and then we'll close up our quotes okay so this we're going to print this out to screen so we know how many people we've visited how many people are still left to visit just so we can get an idea and if all has gone well, we should have finished writing our bot. So let's save this and let's try running it. So Python linked in bot.py. And we're going to take the email. So I use wemil11 at gmail.com, which was the fake account I created. And the password was for linked in. Uh, we run this, oh, we've got argument pass the problem, um, no attribute add, oh, I've mucked up spelling. So come back down to my add argument. Oh, so I've got my U and my M around. Argument. Okay, so I'll save this. And we'll try running it again. So it'll take a little bit as it boots up the browser. As you can see, we get our browser open here. So you can move around. It'll keep interacting with it. And it comes to our login page. It enters in our email and password and hits sign in. As you can see, it's successfully logged in, bot starting. It's taken us to our profile. It's going to view our profile because that's our first profile link. So now it won't ever try and visit our profile again. And now it'll go to the jobs page because I don't have any connections. Oh, no, I do have people who have viewed my profile. So it'll go to their profile first. And as you can see, it goes to their profile. It'll grab people on their profile and it'll start visiting people in our queue. So we've got 22 people already in our queue to visit and we've visited three different people. And it'll just keep going through people over and over again. So, yep, we visited four people. We've got 35 people, 35 unique people in our queue. And this will just keep on going and keep visiting different profiles. So, success. We've successfully completed our viewbot. This concludes our link LinkedIn bot. Let me know in the comments if you think this is a cool project and if you would like to find, uh, if you if you find it fun, I could put this up on GitHub and we could make the bot better as a community. I have plans written down to add a message bot functionality and an apply for jobs bot too. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments and I'll try my best to answer it as um, clearly as possible. Next topic we'll be looking at is web scraping with Scrappy. Thanks for watching.